Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in unit four, lesson seven, part 12. We're looking at project A called the Chronotype app. It says that this app is meant to help users discover what their sleep profile is. It tells us also to read the table below to see the criteria for each sleep profile. So we have the dolphin, a wolf, lion, and bear. This is gonna be very important for us as we start to write the code for this. It tells us to update the Boolean expressions in the program using the AND operator so that the program accurately tells a user their sleep profile. The first if statement for the dolphin type is already completed for you. It also tells us to test your app by asking your classmates to use the app and see if their answers get them the correct profile based on the table above or use the cases below to test your program. And then it gives us these cases here. As I look through this, we have some variables that were created for us. On the event click, we see that the variables above are updated with the information that's in the app. We then have an if statement. They said that the dolphin was done for us. We're going to have to update these other sections for this app to work properly. We then have show element, which affects this section down here. And then down below, we have some variables that store images. As I look through this code and I look at this table, I'm going to have to rearrange this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click show text because in my opinion, that's gonna be the easiest way to go about doing this. As I look through this table, the two profiles that have the most criteria is the dolphin and the bear. As I look through this code, the bear is the one that I'm going to move. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. On my keyboard, I'm gonna do control X and that's gonna cut that text. And then I'm gonna look for the dolphin hit control V on my keyboard to paste that. I need to change this from else to else if. And down below, I'm gonna delete this. I could leave it and it would still work, but for this app, we'll go ahead and remove the if portion. And we can delete this right here. It tells us that the dolphin was set up. For the bear, I'm actually going to copy this right here. I'm gonna use control C on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna go here to this section for the bear and I'm gonna hit control V on my keyboard to paste that. The sleeper type for the bear, it says that it's heavy. The bedtime, it says it's 11 or earlier. So we need to change this from greater than or equal to to be less than or equal to. And then our wake time, we need to change this from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to because we want it to be seven or later. As I continue on here, I see for the wolf, I just need to make some quick changes. Now, it doesn't matter what the sleeper type is for this, so I'm actually not going to include this in the check. It doesn't matter. What we do need is the bedtime and the wake time, though. So I'm going to copy this line. You could type it out. It's up to you. And I'm going to paste that in here, and it's going to be our base. So our bedtime for the wolf is midnight or later. So I'm going to do greater than or equal to, and I'll do 12. The wake time is any time after 7. So I'm going to delete the equal here. So our wake time, as long as it's greater than 7, then the wolf will pull up. And then that leaves us here with the lion. Now, because I removed the if, there is no criteria. So I can just delete this. And essentially, this is our last option. So if it passed through this list, it will have checked through all the criteria, essentially. And if nothing was met in the previous three steps, it's going to just fall on that else and default to lion. Let's go ahead and see if this works. We'll scroll down to our test cases and we'll try a couple of them. The first one is for wolf. The time you go to sleep is 12. The time that you wake up is eight. And it says heavy sleeper. Right here it says wolf. Perfect, that's what we wanted. Let's reset this and try it again. Let's do this one right here for bear. 11, eight, and heavy. We get a bear. 
the one that you really want to look at is this last one right here. See what happens when we put it in. It comes up as bear. Had I not changed around the order of the animals, and I'll go ahead and throw up a graphic right now so you can see what the code possibly could have looked like had we not changed it around. If you look at the graphic on the screen, the first thing we're going to look at is bedtime. With the bedtime of 10, it would have passed the dolphin because it's less than the 11 there. It would have passed by the wolf because that 10 is less than 12. And then we would look at the lion. The lion it is greater than or equal to 10 on the sleep. And the wake time is greater than or equal to 6. That would be the case in this illustration. And it would have actually populated with lion instead of what we wanted bear. My caution to you is this. When you're building these logical statements, it's important that you understand the criteria and the order that is needed. Because if you get them in the wrong order, the app is going to produce the result that is not intended. If you happen to struggle a little bit with this app, I would ask that you would go to the version history and just reset it back to the original set of code and then rework this until you feel comfortable with the different order and adding the different criteria. When you're done, make sure you hit finish.